had a good question from a Storyline user today who was asking about these Articulate Quizmaker downloads that are available at eLearning Heroes. And his question was, can you use these in Storyline as well? And the answer is you can. Um, the one that he was asking about was this chalkboard template here that Tom Coleman had shared a while back. So we're going to see how we can put this right into Storyline. So I've already downloaded the file and unzipped it. And we're going to switch over to Storyline here. And we'll go ahead and insert the slides from that file. So I'm going to come up to my Insert tab and then choose New Slide. And then I'm going to choose the Import option down here at the bottom and then select Quizmaker. And now I can navigate to any quiz file that I want to import into my Storyline project. So here's the one that I unzipped from that download. Now if you've downloaded something from eLearning Heroes that has a quiz template extension, that's not going to show up in this dialog. And so what you'll want to do in that case, if you want to use a quiz template file in Storyline, is you can open that file in Quizmaker and then save it with a quiz extension. And then you'll be able to import the slides just like you can with this one. So we'll go ahead and double click on this one and Storyline will show us our options for what we can bring into our project. And um, right now there are three layouts um, you know, selected here. And I could go through and deselect some of them if I want, but I'm going to leave all of them selected. This is good because I want to use them all. And then down here at the bottom, we can choose to bring these slides into a new scene or the current scene, which is what I'm going to choose. And then we'll click Import. And once the slides come in, we can double click on the slide in Story View here and take a look. So here's one of the layouts. This is a multiple choice question. And then I've got another type of multiple choice and then another one here. And then there's also a result slide down here at the end. Now, one thing you might notice, like on this slide right here, is because Quizmaker slide dimensions are a little bit different than what you're probably using in Storyline, um, you might end up with a lot of white space around the perimeter of the content, but you can fix that really easily. So here's how to do that. I'm going to come up to my view tab and then choose Slide Master, and this is where, um, for this project, this is where we can adjust all of the you know elements that are being used um, for the visual design of the um, the quiz slides. So here's my original uh, Slide Master that I had as part of my project when I first opened my Storyline project, but then I've also got these other ones that came in when I imported my content from Quizmaker, and now we can make some adjustments. Like on this one right here, this one is you know one of the ones with the purple background. I can just make this a little bit bigger so that it covers up the entire you know area of my slide, and that way there's no white space. I might also want to select the um, you know the graphic here and maybe size this up a little bit if I want to make it. Um, a little bigger, you know, just so we can maximize the space there a little bit better. So you can make whatever changes that you want to. And then when we close the master view, we'll see that that change carried over onto any slide that uses that layout. So um, this is good. I've got a bunch of slides in here now that I can modify as much as I need to. But what about if I want to add more slides that use this same layout? Well, that's really easy. We can come up to the insert tab and then choose new slide. And now I'm going to select quizzing and I've got, you know, all of my options here for the quiz question types that I can insert. We'll just go with a true false. And once we insert it, we'll add a little bit of question text here. And now this is not really um, looking like I want. I want to use a different layout, but that's totally fine. I can right click on my slide workspace and then choose layout. And now I've got all of the choices available for um, you know the layouts from the quiz that I've imported. So here's the one with the purple background. I can bring that in, and now I can modify as necessary. Like if I maybe want to, you know, make this text white, that would be easy to do. So it's a little bit easier to read. I might also want to move things over or do whatever additional adjustments I want. So that's how you can bring in um, some of those assets from the Quizmaker downloads and leverage them in Articulate Storyline.